So I'm bleeding my system on this 2000 Land Rover Discovery. Um, take that out of place. It just has two little clips on the back. Let's see if we can see it. Uh, back in there, somewhere. And you just pull it straight up from that side, from that side right there, and then slide it that way. That's stuck down there. And it will come right up. They don't have no screws, bolts, anything like that. And that one has that has to be a little higher than this right here, which it is. It needs to be a little more, but that's good enough. It's the way my truck is parked, but that would be good enough. Then you have this little bulb right here, whatever this called, and just open it up. I'll take it all the way out, and as you see. I don't see a lot of air coming out there because I already had it loose. But just to make sure, I'm gonna close it. Then I'm gonna squeeze the hoses, open it a little bit. See bubbles? I want all the air out of that. But if you don't have that little bulb, I usually just take this clip uh, back here and then just pull the hose back a little bit. Just, just leaving a little bit right here, like a little hole the way the water and air can come out. And then fill it up by right there, do the same thing, just squeeze your hoses. Try to go as slow as possible, try to get all the air out of Because if you don't, the air out of the system is gonna overheat fast trust me i've done that many times on my other one like i said the other one doesn't have this bulb so it's harder but it's doable anyways that's how i do it and make sure that one is filled it is I'll open this up again you see all the bubbles I rather weigh some end freeze than let my truck overheat. Until I don't see no more bubbles, that means it's good. But I see a lot of them. Right there, I don't see no more bubbles, so that's good. Go ahead and close it, and that's, that's all I need. And those are the clips that I was talking about right there. They go right there. The glass has two. It's got to be careful though, because these, these little pipe holes, whatever that is right there, they break easy. So, I gotta put it back in there. See if I can do it with one hand. I'm sure this goes go under there. And it goes smooth. Don't bend it. Okay, I'm gonna stop it because I can do one hand. I gotta put the bottom force, then put it down, and that's it. There it is. It's good to go. Everything is good and tight, and there it is now. I'm gonna start it up. Well, my battery is dead, so I'm gonna put it on charge and probably start it tomorrow. But I just replaced the head gaskets on this one, so I gotta also put more oil in it because it's half full and I don't want to ruin it like that since it's dry, you know. So that'll be for another video. So, just like that, that's how you bleed your, your system, and it's ready to go. Thanks for watching, until next time.